Yes, everyone, welcome back to the Food Review Club. It's a real rainy, sort of miserable day here in Sudbury. New location. But fear not, we're at Mixed Fish and Chips. What could be an absolute barnstorm. Now, interestingly, Callum, I don't know what everyone at home is thinking to this, but this is our usual process. We look at what fish they've got on. Coddock. Coddock? Did I just say Coddock? You just did say Coddock. Cod or Haddock is the usual uh, go-to. We never normally uh, f with place or skate, not really for me. Well, this skate, maybe, yeah. Oh, that's a dilemma. Next time. But as in the middle of those is rock. Rock eel, very popular in London. Um, so we've gone for that today, something different. I've had rock eel before, delicious if it's done right. It's got a bone through the middle, I believe, and rock is a, uh, a bit like a small shark, a bit like a dogfish. Fantastic eating. I'm gonna try that today. So that's what we've ordered. I've had to nip to the post office to get my money out. How much is that, my friend? There we go. Thank you very much. So, exciting, we've got a new fish. Can I ask you, my friend, what, what's the, is the skate, is the skate a flat, flat fish, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it good to, good, good to eat it? Tasty? Yeah, it's good to taste yeah. Yeah. There we go. Sk skate is tasty. So we'll have that, maybe next time. I've had, I think I've seen it before. All right. Rock it is. I'm excited for this one. We're back. We are back. We've got a side of curry sauce. Let's go. Or battered burger. No. Mm -hmm. Or battered pizza. Who's ordering that? Honestly. If you order that, that's that's the that's the non stuff that is. You, know, you, you order that, you're gonna be non-stop. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's a bit weird. Yeah, it's very weird. £3.50 for a battered pizza. A little mini pizza. It's a personal pizza. There we go. Nice to see the menu though. Do you like this style of video inside the shop, meet and greet, see what's going on, see how we go about our business? Um, I thought so. Something different today. I'm excited. Here we go, look. What do you think, people? Mm -hmm. What are you going for? Whoa. Whoa. Man's on a diet. Seriously, if you fast start slamming the drinks in again, that's probably how I was putting on some weight before. Is that the rock? Now, straight away, I can tell that batter is very good. Rock has the bone down the middle, yeah? Yeah. Straight down the middle. Here you go, Callum. Now, look, this is exactly what we're talking about for uncovering these hidden gems. Mix in Sudbury. Look at, it, look at the crispy pieces. Doesn't look heavy. You can even see the fish through the batter. Very light. Looks good, really good. So just salt and myself. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Rate the techers, people. Lots of salt and vinegar, yeah? <laughs> there we go. Finish, and the curry sauce. Thank you, my friend. I'm excited for this one, Callum. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Right, Callum, the new fish. Mixed fish and chips here in Sudbury. First thing I'm going to ask is, if you live in Sudbury, is this the best place to get fish and chips? What's the food scene like it? Let me know, please. Now, Callum, this is big. This is really big. Rock. Those that know, a lot of people say that rock is the best fish. Now, I'm getting a little bit excited now, Callum, because this in here, can you see these little bubbles? That aeration in the batter. For my palate, my taste, it, it evaporates on your tongue. It's genuinely like a quaver when it's like this. So I'm excited to dive in. Right, first things first. Let's try a chip. 
There you go, chips. Nice chip, man. Nice chip. Let's try one about the, let's try it about the dunk. Cooked to water. Nice. Nice cook to it. Hot. Oh, wow. I don't want it, bro. We're not this little kind of, un maybe you can show this, this uncovered little. Little like oh. shopping zone. Yeah, a little like outside mall. Ooh. Chips are good. Yes, we've got some irregular ones in there. And the curry sauce has that bit of extra zing to it. It definitely does taste like your traditional regular fish and chip shop curry sauce. But there's an added element in that. I'm sure of it. All right, one more chip. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Is this the number one fish and chip shop in Sudbury? Um, is this the number one fish and chip shop in Sudbury? There is some more. Which is, which is the best? I wouldn't know, mate. I haven't been out of them for years. Why? Choke. Oh. Oh. Problems. Oh, okay. Are you okay Yeah, now? Like, you have to watch what you eat sometimes. Do you? It depends where the stroke hits. But this, this, I believe he's got another one. Yeah. Oh, Lo here somewhere. Yeah, okay. He's got about three. But they are highly recommended. Anyway, they get cool when no, they're young. How's, how's your health? Anyway, now, are you feeling better? Your, how's your health now? Are you feeling better? Your health? Are you, oh, are you that better? Was, that was the stroke. That yeah. Was, that was some um, 15 years ago. All right, you're still battling on. You're still here, you're still battling on, aren't you? You'll never believe what I used to do. Go on then. Yeah, I was a weaver. A weaver? Yeah. There's, Two, if not three, they were three factories in Sudbury, but I think there's only two left. Okay. And they hold the royal warrant for services to the Queen. Wow. And well, you did, well, you did you know, that she's not the Queen anymore, you know. Uh, yeah, but, but, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah. Presumably, they will have it transferred to... God knows, I can't remember the yeah. man. Oh, congratulations, you're a weaver. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. What does a weaver do? It was a, a sort of job. That's more of a vocation that is okay. in front. You, you've got to have your heart and soul. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you've yeah, got yeah, to have yeah, your yeah. heart and soul in it. Yeah. Um, it was a lovely job. Good. Well, it was nice. It's nice to meet you, sir. Are you filming? It, we're doing a food review. Yeah. <laughs> That's my vocation. He's I'm lucky, a food. He's lucky that never exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Yeah, you have a nice day, sir. Have a nice day. Yeah. What happens to it then? We, uh, we put it on YouTube and Facebook. We put it on uh, social media. We, we review the fish and chips. Will I get the royalties? Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> God bless. Now, that was a lovely uh, inter uh, interjection, interlude, uh, break? Interlude, yeah. Interlude. And it's probably let the fish calm down in temperature so we can dive in. What a fine man. What is a weaver, Callum? I have no idea. Oh, come on. Must be important. Get your guesses in now. Weaver. Occupation. <sighs> A weaver working in textile production operates monitors and maintains highly technical computerised weaving looms to manufacture woven fabrics and materials. And he did it for the Queen. Huh? Fucking hell. Come on. My man. My man. I thought he had his uh, stroke recently, but 15 years ago, still fighting. That is a lesson for us all. Now, Callum, let's get in to the main chuffing event, The Rock. Now, this here, ladies and gents, is the, should be the bone in the back. Let's just crack it open and see how we get on, so you can see it. You break the bone. Oh. Oh, like there we go. Right, Callum. Let's reveal. So down the middle, you have the backbone. And there, either side of the backbone, is your amazing fillet of rock. Commonly known as rock eel. I don't think it is an eel, like I said, it's more of a, a shark type fish. Let's go.
I got flavours coming back to me. Okay. Wow. First impressions of having rock again for the first time uh, in a while. I've had it before. Very strong flavour. Much more fishy than cod and haddock. But with that does come that added flavour. Now, on top of that, Callum, this batter is thin. It's crispy. It's got those little pockets of air. It's very, very light on the tongue. Dare I say it, some of the best batter we've had on the page for a while, certainly inland. Wow. Some fish and chip shops just have the knack, others do not. This is particularly yummy. Now, let's try another piece of this fish. Can you see there, people? Totally different in its texture, in its composition. A bit softer to touch. It's remarkable. Definitely a little bit more fishy. But it has, look at that look, bro. It's like it melts in your mouth. It hasn't got that bite and purchase of cod and haddock. Really, really good. All right, bro. Time for a score. Mixing Sudbury. Wow. I'm going to give this um, price point 13.80. Uh, drink, curry sauce, the works. That is the extra large as well, by the way. Extra large piece of rock. I'm going to give this the FRC score. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give it like a, an 8.4. Okay. Very good. Really good batter, exactly what I'm hoping for. Curry sauce, on point. This is living on the higher end of your UK standard fish and chip shops. Would I come back? Would I come? Would I make a detour to come here if I was in Sudbury? Absolutely. Ladies and gents, thank you for welcoming, welcoming us back with open arms. Got pug shoots behind the camera, bless up to him. Me, the big fat oaf in front of it. But for now, that was a weaving review. See us big daddy B pugs and Matt on a mission to find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?